Hey guys, let's talk about The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. Now this book has three main principles that I got out of it. It's pretty repetitive, so I'm going to break it down into three principles. The first is that if something is easy to do, it's also easy not to do. Something like going for a walk. It can take 10 minutes to walk around your block, but since it's easy to do, it's also easy just to go, eh, let's not do it. Something like eating a granola bar every day. This is easy to do, but it's also easy not to do because, you know, you want a granola bar. Even something as simple as reading 10 pages a day. Anyone can do it. I bet you could do it in under 30 minutes, too. But it's also easy not to do. And this ties into the second big idea, which is small, meaningful decisions compounded over time make you successful. It's not the major choices, life choices that you make that make you successful. It's the little things you do every day that compound. What about that one walk a day? If you did that for 10 years, that's 3,650 walks. Can you imagine how many miles that is? Or what about that 100 calorie granola bar that you were going to eat? If you eat one every day for 10 years, that's 365,000 calories. If you do the math, that adds up to around 100 pounds. You're putting on 100 pounds in 10 years just by eating a granola bar every day. And I like to put my own twist on it, something like growth hacker marketing. What if I send three messages back and forth to a viewer of my channel, someone that comments, or a customer? These three messages may seem little to me, but they can change the view of my product to the customer. And this is why I will always reply to comments on this channel, as long as I possibly can. And the third is that it's never too late to start. A lot of people think that, oh, they're 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 years old and think that it's too late to start. Their health has already deteriorated to a point that they can't get it back up to where they want it to be. Jeff Olson explains that there are three things in life that you have to do in order to reap the benefits. That is plant, and then you cultivate, and then you harvest. In this world of instant gratification, so many people want to just ignore the cultivating part. You have to plant as many seeds as you possibly can. Just plant the seeds in the ground and see what sprouts. As soon as something sprouts, you have to cultivate it. You have to put in the sweat equity and the hundreds and thousands of hours of work that it takes to cultivate this. And then you get to harvest. And all you have to do from that is just profit. You profit from what you planted and cultivated. In a world of instant gratification, this is why people stop going to the gym a month after New Year's resolutions. If I could tell you one thing out of this book, it's that the largest life-changing decisions that you think you make are just as big as the little decisions that you make every day. Whether or not to go on that walk, whether or not to help your friend out, whether or not to read 10 pages of that book that you've been looking at. If it's easy to do, it's also easy not to do. So why don't you just do it? This book is a lot like The Compound Effect. You can check out my video of it here. And also check out my video of The Happiness Advantage. Click the like button below if you like this review, and I hope you did. If you want more videos like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching.